Quick review of this Junichi. This is their large humidifier. It's supposed to handle up to a thousand square feet. Now in this application, there's more than a thousand square feet, but I wanted to get some humidity into the air because the heater is currently running. It's just sucking all the moisture out. A couple of nice features about this unit. It has three different levels. It does come with a remote, so I can either do it through the four button display on the front, or I can use the remote and go through those three options. Now on its lowest setting, this unit will run for approximately 90 hours without needing to be refilled. This bottom container down here holds 2.4 gallons of water. They do recommend distilled water just so the uh, ultrasonic diffuser doesn't get clogged with minerals. On the front, you do have a display. You've got your power. This has up to 12 hour timer. So if you just want it to run for one hour, two hour, three hours, you can go ahead and set the timer. Or it has an auto mode where you can actually select how much humidity you want the unit to bring the air, uh, air humidity up to before it turns off. That ranges from 45% up to 70, 75%. So you can scroll through that and then you have your mist settings. And if we scroll through this, you can go into nighttime mode and it turns the display off. One of the things you won't see, there is a light feature on here. This view window here, there's a light down in. So if you wanna see how much water's in the unit, it'll tell you the max. But if you want to see how much water's in it, recommend turning the light on. It's not something you see from the distance unless it's pitch dark out, but it just makes it easier to see what's going on. On the back of the unit, you got a couple of things. There is an essential oil. So if it's got a little um, box in here with a pad, you can drop some essential oils if you would like to use that. And really important, made the mistake, the fill line on the front is really important because there are, looks like five vents back here. If you overfill, the water will come out of the bag or if you tip this over when it's full, it will uh, overfill. Adding water is really simple. simple. Just gonna turn the unit off. The top section here comes right off. You don't, it does have water in the top, so you do have to be careful with that and then you can just pour water directly in here. You'll see the little bump and the little notch right there. So we just have to line that up and the unit drops right in there. So you can also come off the top if you want to. If you wanna see inside, there's really not a lot to see in there, um, but you've got options there. So. Overall review of this unit has been had it for gosh pushing two weeks and definitely seen an increase in the amount of humidity because we were getting down into like the low 20s and you can definitely just feel how dry the skin was so it's been nice running this unit.